Hi, Jeremy. Thanks for the update and information. I've made a couple of adjustments. Uh, one, the header here, I've actually modified the graphic. I'm showing you on a large scale monitor because there's a couple of things. This piece up here should have been sized a little bit taller. Uh, that way, in the bottom of the footer, it would just extend down. So, this is what you do now. You see just a continuation, which, uh, which is what we had intended originally. So, probably in the colorization, we might have knocked something off. Uh, anyways, just a couple of quick updates here. Yeah, good idea on the the image. I've always sort of fought with that. I actually do have an alternate parallax CSS style sheet for this template. And it does basically this here. It, it sort of gets rid of the image. It just has text and whatnot. And also the button, because it, it, just to make it easier to press on a mobile, um, it goes to 80% width of the device as opposed to just sort of in the corner. So that way you never run into the issue of the button running over the text uh, as well. So anyways, we've done that and I've sort of lined it up and just to make sure that everything looks and runs smoothly as well. Um, now you've mentioned another couple of things here. You know, the white space, yeah, that with the modification here, that also gets rid of that extra 10 pixels or 20 pixels in the right hand side of the, uh, of the screen. Um, I'll zip it up and send it over. Now I went into your physician's page um, I'm just going to show you right here. And what I did is I actually made a modification. There's a couple things you can do. You can remove the image responsive. That way the images won't resize. But I've left it in there for now because I've also retweaked your your column sizing uh, for this page here. So let me just pull this up and smaller. So this should be like a mobile phone here stacked on top as we expect. We go to a tablet and we get two by two. Okay, so that way it's a little bit easier to read. Then we go uh, full desktop and you'll get the 4x4. Four four. And that's what the changes I made there for you was the, uh, I went for, uh, the small 6 is, is basically um, anything down to a uh, tablet and portrait. Uh, this is a tablet and landscape, but with the 3x3, uh, three three, but the, the, the 3 grid, which is basically four columns. When you go with the small 6 and bootstrap, that means it's a two column. Um, and anything below that, we'll use the default setting, which is a one column. So I've, I've set that. If you have any other questions on that, let me know. Uh, but you could remove the image responsive as well. And then your pictures, just they won't resize at all. They'll just stay the same size. And sort of the image responsive is, is required only for images that are probably, that don't have a fixed size or that are larger than, say, 400 pixels. So I'm going to zip the site up, uh, send you a link to download so you can open it up and have a look around and make sure I nailed everything for you.